Ah, uh, almost back to the lab. Dr. Baum should already be there. Oh, I don't feel like jumping this right now. Uh, where's the lab? Uh, oh, there it is. Alright, up. Oh, yep, there's the spot. Alright. Dr. Baum, beam me up. I can't wait to be back. Uh. Uh. Alright. Uh, we really need to get this place cleaned up. Alright. Uh, Dr. Bomb say meet me in the lab. Hey, Dr. Bomb, I... I'm here, um... Hey! Yeah, I see your machine. What's this do? Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. So the lava... is heating the water, and then... The hydrogen ions are coming out of there, through there, and powering that, which... Why is the Because Stone Sword there? Alright. Um, which is helping power this big machine. He seems to have going. And then over here, what's this doing? Oh, I see. So, electrons and uh, chlorophyll. Oh, I see. You got all the little plant. Uh, this, this plant isn't looking too good, Dr. Bomb. All right. Uh, so, you got all these plants working and that. What's wrong with this one? All the rest are working, why not this one? Oh, I see you're having some trouble with it. Oh, oh. What is that stuff? Oh. Why, why is there blood in there? Uh, I'm so sorry that I asked. So what on earth are you doing here? Genes? You're... You're working with... DNA? Oh. Okay. Oh, alright, over on your laptop over here. Yeah. Yeah, I see. All right, so we got our genomes, and then those, and then genetic diversity. I see what's going on here. Uh, Dr. Bob? What is all this stuff? Hey, Steves, what is up? It is Creepaletia here from Gaming Go Boom. I am back again with Dr. Bomb for another incredible video. So, Dr. Bomb, um, you say you're working with some DNA genome type stuff, am I correct? Well, would a little bit of help be appreciated? Well, that's awesome. Yeah, well, I might be able to help a little bit. So, I see that you have a zombie pigman and a pig in here. Um, have you already done all the research? Are there uh, chromosomes and stuff the same number or close enough? Alright. Well then... What exact traits do you need to be in it for that stuff to work? Uh, 
Alright. And, uh, about all the stuff in here, what it, what on earth do we have in here? We got a skull. I don't even know what that is. A zombie head, a heart, an odd eye, a dead chicken, a severed ear, a bone. I don't even want to know what that is. And... Uh, Dr. Bomb, Dr. B why is there a random person's head in the trash? You're weird. You are really weird. All right. Uh, sorry, person. I'm uh, sorry, intruder. I'm going to put you back in there. Uh, Okay. All right, that's fine. So, we need to get those traits from those two. Well, have you ever thought of maybe artificial fertilization and just creating custom gametes and stuff? Well, it's pretty simple, really. I mean, I could help you do that if you wanted. We could get the genes for you and then be all good. All right, let's do it. Let's go over to your laptop and see what we can't do about this. Okay, so from what I saw, this should be fairly simple. Um, what we're going to have to do is just get some DNA from each one of these guys, and then, in theory, we should be able to undergo meiosis with the DNA and the cells that we get from it. No, not mitosis, meiosis. Well, the difference is that, well, I'll explain. Okay, so, I just got done hacking a little bit off of these guys, nothing major, so I got some rotten flesh from the zombie pig man, some raw pork chop from the pig, and from those I was able to uh, um, subtract or take out a pig cell from the pork chop and a zombie pigman cell from the rotten flesh. Yeah, it does look a little bit weird, doesn't it? Anyway, so you asked a great question earlier. What is the difference between meiosis and mitosis? Well, the thing is, is that like mitosis, meiosis has has an interphase and then undergoes mitosis. However, it's not mitosis. Meiosis is its own thing. During interphase one, we have our normal things, which are things such as G1, where our cell just gets bigger, that is just the initial cell growth, and then during the S phase, our chromosomes become sister chromatids, uh, which are attached to each other at a set point. This set point is called the centromere, and that is during the S phase is when they replicate. 
Now, this is all quite like normal cell cycle mitosis, all that stuff, but it's not. Next, we have the G2 phase, which is just more growing and preparing for division. Oh, and by the way, during the S phase, the centrosome, not to be confused with the centromere, also is duplicated to prepare for division. Next is what we're here to talk about, finally, meiosis. And meiosis is definitely its own thing. So we got two stages of meiosis, which is a little bit different. We got meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. And we, in the first meiosis, we have a metaphase and an anaphase. And the metaphase and anaphase in the first meiosis are actually quite similar to that in mitosis. It's the same sort of deal. The sister chromatids line up in the middle, while the spindle fibers, the little spindle fibers attach to them, and then they are pulled apart. And that's as far as our normal body cells go, our diploid cells, meaning that they have two pairs. However, gametes are different. They are haploid, meaning that they only have one. So, what happens next is another one that we will talk about in just a minute. And now it's time for the second meiosis, which is the special one. Instead of going through interphase again, the cell decides to just go ahead and split one more time, dividing the cell's DNA up from its normal two into one, creating a haploid cell. This cell depending on the gender, becomes either a sperm or an egg. And when they fuse, they will create one diploid cell, because the cell gets one pair from the sperm and one pair from the egg. Then, after fertilization, the cell is known as a zygote. Then, Within the first week, the zygote undergoes multiple cellular divisions until it is a ball of cells known as a blastocyst. Then the blastocyst attaches to a disc, and then the disc go the blastocyst to a disc, disc to embryo, then embryo for a few, and then finally a fetus. And yes, I see you looking over at the computer. Genetic diversity. What causes genetic diversity? Well, genetic diversity happens when we are in the fertilization stage. And essentially, what it does is that it allows the chromosomes, the sister chromatids, to link up. Their arms intertwine with each other, and they share genetic information. That's probably how we're going to get the genes you require for your machine. 
yes, we are going to try and control the genetic crossing over of the sister chromatids between these two to try and get the correct traits from each that we desire. Yeah, it does sound complicated a little bit, but I'm sure we can figure it out. So, what we need to do now that we have figured all of this out is take our pig and our zombie pigmen, do some DNA stuff, and when we get back, hopefully it will be lit up, everything will be going good with that acid stuff, and we will be all good. Oh. Okay, now I just, just feel stupid. We'll see you guys in a minute. Alright, there we go. Uh, Dr. Bomb? I never want to do that again. Alright. So, in theory, when I flick this lever, this should turn on. We got the DNA in there. And this thing should turn on. We ready? Hello, my name is Sarah. I am oh, my God. Uh, I think it's working. I think it's working. Oh. Dr. Bomb, did you hear that? Alright. Ah. Oh. Okay, guys. So, I think me and Dr. Bomb are going to have to do a little bit more research. But for now, this is Creepaludia. And me and Dr. Bomb will see you next time. Man.